while the tourism industry is hurting now, we have to be looking towards the future to see how we'll recover. There is a plan to help the tourism industry recover from the pandemic and bring more business to our area. Today, the Metropolitan Development Commission is expected to vote on whether to expand the Indiana Convention Center. Our Eric Pointer is live downtown covering this for us. Eric, good morning to you. How much of a proposed expansion are we looking at here? Good morning to you as well. Now, Chris Gall with Visit Indy says that they're looking to add 140 square feet to this area here downtown, and that would include a new hotel and more meeting space. Now, Gall says that the space as is is too small to keep the business that they already have now, and it's not big enough to attract new businesses. Currently, the city is able to bid on about 75% of the top 250 trade shows, but this expansion would bump that up to about 82%. Last month, City Council approved the plan for up to $155 million in bonds to expand. Now, the next vote is happening today with the Metropolitan Development Commission. In true Indianapolis style, we've done our homework. We've talked to convention customers. We know that this project will retain nearly $300 million in convention business, groups that are literally outgrowing the city and need this, even through the pandemic, to continue meeting here into the future. According to city officials, after the hearing today, the next step are to vote by the Bond Bank Board of Directors and the Capital Improvement Board. So those two are supposed to vote and that's the next step. Now, because this is a major construction project, there will be many additional steps moving forward, the city official says, but those two votes are the last two approvals in financing this project. Now, if this is approved and everything goes the way they're hoping for, the construction is expected to start in late 2022 and is expected to finish sometime in early 2025. Live in downtown Indianapolis, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News.